Guys, it's Cyber Monday, and we are having Cyber Monday sales. Uh, these are the same online sales that we've had since Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Uh, but today is the last day to get them before uh, Christmas. So I'm going to read what the deals are real quick. Uh, we've got 10% off all the following items. T-shirts. 10% off our T-shirts. And these are online. You can go online and buy them and get 10% off right now. Um, also, when you buy anything online and you spend over $20, you get a free Lloyd poly bag, Lloyd from Ninjago. Uh, let's go see if we have any of those. So if you spend $20, you get the Lloyd poly bag. There he is. Which that was actually a GameStop exclusive set. You cannot get that anymore. No. Um, and then if you spend over $100, you get a power ring, which is one of our own exclusive custom sets. And Mark Erickson wore this ring on Lego Masters Season 2 when they had to build the pirate hat. So you get a power ring if you spend over $100, and you get the Lloyd Poly bag. And this is going to be autographed by Mark when you get it. So... Nice. Uh, if you spend $100 or more, you get that and the poly bag, and Mark will autograph it for you. Plus, you get the discounts. So, uh, it's 10% off t shirts and 10% uh, off of our exclusive building kits. So, you could buy the Shroomkin set for 10% off right now, the Pokeball kit for 10% off, the Gnomes. Siren Head is one of our newest kits. If you don't know who Siren Head is, then Google it, I guess, or DuckDuckGo, whatever you use to search. Uh, our Gatling gun, any of our exclusive sets. The, the Boss Tank, the ba Battle Babies Boss Tank is a new kit. Um, Bernie, the Burnt Out Dragon, is a new kit. Grumpy J says, the deals are insane. <laughs> and he wanted to correct you, it's Lulloid. Lulloid, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> Uh, the Daleks, those are all 10% off. So any of our exclusive building kits are 10% off. If you go to our website and go to building kits uh, and then go to exclusive building kits, you'll see all the uh, exclusive kits that are all 10% off. Plus, you get those free gifts that I mentioned earlier. Um, all of our LED keychains are 10% off. Prickly Bricks says our deals are better than actual Legos. <laughs> And our giveaways are better, too. I did not look at Lego's deals this year. Um, but that's too bad if that's the case. That is, and they, they're sold out of everything. You are can't, they? Well, yeah, we're not. We have plenty, as you can see, we have plenty in stock. So Those what were are, you saying about the LEDs? These are all 10% off. Ten, oh, nice. Plus you get the gifts. So if you buy, these are $15 each normally. If you buy, uh, they'll be 10% off. And then if you buy $100 worth of LED keychains make great stocking stuffers or Christmas gifts. Then you'll get both free gifts. Um, let's see, our own exclusive building kits. Any of our poly bag kits online are gonna be 10% off. The poly bag kits are like all this, all these things here. Grumpy J wants to ask about that porta potty, if there's any word on that. So close, we're just, uh, there's a kink in the supply chain. We're waiting on the packaging. The kits are already assembled and put together. We're just waiting on the packaging. So, okay. Uh, I think next week now, uh, but we should have gotten it probably like two weeks ago, but the supply chain is a little screwed up for, as far as that goes. Um, in fact, we sh we're in Noonan and Valdosta, Georgia is about three hours away from us. We just shipped something to Valdosta, Georgia like a week ago and it went down to Orlando the mail took it to Orlando and then back up to near Valdosta but they still haven't delivered it yet and it's been out for almost two weeks now it's pretty, oh. pretty bad things the shipping system is a little messed up right now so if you do order anything uh, please be patient uh, most items are gonna get delivered on time but there's chances of uh, delays are better right now because of the holidays and everything. Um, uh, all minifigures are 10% off. So all, if you go online, we've got all of our minifigures organized and sorted by theme. You can go and look and find uh, all of our minifigures for 10% off. Um,
and those are already marked down. With these online sales, you cannot use reward points, but you do earn rewards points. So don't redeem any of your uh, rewards coupons uh, because they won't work. They can't be combined. It's a computer thing. So Okay. Big Screen Bird said he, he bought the Silent Mary. It's back there with your name on it, and he's just got to come pick it up. Oh, so nice. we appreciate you. Very good. All right. Uh, we are doing a haul video here in a minute. We're just going to uh, piggyback it onto the online Cyber Monday deals. So uh, if you stay tuned, you'll see the haul deals, the hauls that we got in over the weekend. Oh, yeah. We got a lot in over the weekend. Oh, yeah. Um, all of our lighting kits are 10% off. <clears throat> so these are all of our lighting kits that we have uh this case is full of specific lighting kits and then these are all unique uh you know little lightsaber light up lightsabers light up bricks studs all that uh, if you come around to this side we've got a lot more <clears throat> if you want those uh winter village sets to glow this is the way to do it yeah, these are the lighting kits that we use in our city. So if you ever watch our city light up, uh, it's these kits that we're using. These are specific to the modulars here. And then these are all ad hoc things that are <clears throat> like street lamps and studs and plates and all that. So that is, uh, that's our Cyber Monday deals. All those items are on our website and for sale. So if you go to our website now, you'll see that. And all orders placed today through midnight are automatically gonna get those free gifts, the Lloyd Poly bag and uh, anything over $100 will get Mark's autographed uh, ring. And that power ring, let me tell you, uh, Justin, you've worn it. Mm -hmm. I, I just thought it was silly because I don't wear jewelry really. But uh, when I put that ring on, I felt powerful. I mean, I just started pointing and telling people what to do, and it's it's cool. And it they listened. Really neat thing. Yeah. Awesome. So for the people who just jumped on, <laughs> could you review the um, deals one more time? Yeah. The uh, our Cyber Monday deals are uh, ten percent off. T-shirts, all T-shirts, uh, which we have a lot on our website right now. All mini figures, all of our lighting kits, poly bags, LED keychains, and all of our exclusive building kits. And that's online only. That's online only. Yeah, we don't have any sales going on in the store anymore. Um, that's online sales only. And you also get, and this is the thing to take it over the the hump, is uh, that free Lloyd poly bag. If you spend twenty dollars or more, you get a free Lloyd poly bag. If you spend over a hundred dollars, you get the free power ring, autographed by Mark, and the Lloyd pot bag. Nice. All right, are you ready to see our haul deal? Yeah. All right. Our haul. We haven't really looked at this uh, haul in detail yet. So there's, uh, it's not gonna be as neat and organized as Justin's normal haul videos. Which aren't all that neat and organized. <laughs> We are selling a lot of really good sets right now on our website. Uh, these are all things that are to be shipped out, uh, and including all those sets over there. And of course, we got the silent Mary over there ready to be picked up. Bird. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, excuse the mess. It's, it's awful. We got a bunch of Duplo here. We're gonna work on getting some sets out of that. This is the uh, Toy Story train in the air. Oh, they got it at Culver's. I've been out for the past week, so uh, it's really getting pretty pretty backed up in here. But let's see what we got. Those are all the minifigures that have come in. Oh, we got boxes the of the week. Marvel? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Entire boxes of sealed Marvel. Nice! We needed these. Yeah, people have been asking like oh, crazy. These are great. We actually have the minifigures for sale individually on our website, so they're 10% off right now. We've been selling quite a few of them. So are we going to open those and sell them, or are we going to yeah, we'll sell them, them and, closed? We'll open them and sell them. Okay. If you want to buy sealed ones, go to Walmart, you know? Got it. Uh, we'll We're a specialty them. store. Yeah. Uh, there's a 
Really cool shoebox there full of the buildable Star Wars figures. Including uh, Obi-Wan. He should probably be up here, right? Yeah, he has to have the high ground. Um, at all times. Some pretty neat uh, Galaxy Squad sets over there. Those are uh, pretty underrated. I, th I think they have a good future to them. Um, they're going to go up in value. These are all just empty boxes that we get in over the weekend. We give a dollar store credit for empty boxes. So. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, that is a sealed Mandalorian Starfighter. Not too special. They're, these are all retail sets. Uh, they're all sealed. And That's what he open. meant by sealed. The bags are closed. Yeah. For those of you yeah. asking, wait a minute, the box is open. Know what's up with that those are all new sets that have been open uh we've got a friend's collection here mia's bedroom wow um let's see we'll probably inventory all these and put them out some older creator sets here nothing too special the vip brick those are always fun um, oh, Ed was telling me about this. This came in over the weekend. This is the first three series of Mixels. They're all <clears throat> uh, built with their instructions. Oh, series one, two, and three? Nice. Series one, two, and three, yeah. Uh, Steve Smith asks, has there ever been a Lego series that doesn't go up in value? An entire series or theme? So far, yes. Uh, well, okay, so minifigure series or just theme in general? Let's say both. Um, you know, that Galaxy Squad was under retail for a few years, probably three or four years, and it's just started going up. Just now, okay. Yeah, but, uh, even themes that I didn't think would go up so fast, like the Lego Batman movie, just skyrocketed those sets. They went up more than the regular Lego DC sets. Uh, Unikitty is... Unikitty and Lego Movie 2 are at that point right now where they're at retail or below. Some of A couple of the sets have gone up, um, but eventually those will go up too. So I think all sets have gone up. So do you think the answer, the short answer is no? There's never going to be a set or theme that will never go up in value? Even Chima's above retail right now. So okay. if Chima can do it, <laughs> Chima is your benchmark. Yeah. If Chima can do it, anything can do it. Believe in yourself, guys. Yeah. What was the minifig series? You were about to say a mini. Unikitty would be the one. Okay. Uh, Un Unikitty is uh, below retail low. still. Yeah. So we're selling those below retail, the sealed ones we have. No, they're retail. Oh, they're retail. Okay. Yeah. But if you uh, tried really hard, you could probably get them below retail. Got it. Um. These are all sets that are all bagged up. Ooh, look at that. There's a Commander Cody in there. I hear he's that's, pretty popular. That's a big deal, Justin. You're not getting as excited as you should. Woohoo! I, I sat on the podcast where we talked about the most expensive <laughs> minifigs, and I know he was up there. Or Star Wars. I think that was on Star Wars. These are some really good sets here. Um, there's Hero Factory in here. There's... Uh, a lot of the older Ninjago sets, and they all have their minifigures. They all look like they're in good condition. Um, some really cool stuff. So, since we're doing the live stream, we'll break for Including some questions. Oh, power miners there. Oh, okay. So, what about Nexo Knights? Those are going way oh, up, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. The uh, there's so many unique parts in the Nexo Knight sets, but especially the ones with the characters like Jestro mm -hmm. and. The Medusa, purple Medusa looking girl. And the Lord Kraken, my favorite yeah. minifig of all time. Yeah, uh, they're He's... just, those are skyrocketing. Uh, uh, it, in skyrocketing, I mean like double the value. Yeah. Um, but they weren't that popular when they came out. Thom Green so. asks, does it impact set value if we collapse the boxes after opening them instead of keeping them sealed collapse in the box? Collapse them. Collapse them. Because we do that anyway, right? Yeah. So you're actually yeah. saving us a step. So mm -hmm. please do that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got the Power Miner set, and these are all, I mean, they all look complete with minifigures, so we're probably going to inventory all of these, because we really don't have room in the store for them right now. Great stuff in there. I could probably go through that whole thing, and you guys would be, oh, more Power Miner sets I, in there. I the saw Mac. some Ninjago. 
Season one Ninjago yeah. in there too. This is the uh, Clone Wars tank there. <clears throat> There's some Atlantis sets in there. Good stuff. Um, let's see. That is just an empty box here. This is these. This is like the worst thing about uh, Monday mornings when we come in and we see really cool sets, and then you pick it up and it's just an empty box. We currently don't have any. Uh, Christmas exclusives that we've made. Um, uh, actually, the, but, the uh, Grinch. The Grinch, the that's Grinch, true. Yeah. We do have the Grinch. Yeah. That's the only exclusive we've made. Um, we can show you some store exclusives, especially tomorrow when we do the normal Tuesday live stream. We can show you, if we think of it at the end, since this video is dedicated to the haul, um, we may not get to it, but I'll definitely show you tomorrow. We don't have much. As far as gift with purchase, those tend to go really quickly. We do have a lot, as you see up there, the the, Dickens, yeah. the uh, Charles Dickens. We do have a ton of those. Imperial Hotel, it's kind of a big deal. Oh, beautiful. It's kind of, I mean, it's really, from that angle, it looks pretty cool. But this angle, it's just yeah. kind of boring. Uh, we've got Buckingham Palace, the Louvre, and Trevi Fountain here. Those are all great architecture sets. We'll probably just put those out and sell them as is. They'll look pretty complete. Oh, uh, here's that air show set in here. Oh, there it is. That's okay. built along with some other uh, smaller sets. That... Luke asks, I have 50 empty boxes that are big sets. Would you like them? <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Yep. All right. There's your answer, sir. We give a dollar in store credit per box. About, okay. Now, so. if it's a newer, smaller box, do you still give a dollar? Is it less than uh, that? And if it's an older... Maybe not. If it's okay. an older box, maybe more. Okay. Um, but in, in general, it's hard to say what... Yeah, it depends on the condition, bad, too. So we really just have to look at it. Oh, we do throw away about half of the boxes that we get in. Uh, but you just never know if we're going to throw it away or not. You just... Some of them we have 50 of, and we just can't afford to hold on to any more of them. Um, others we don't have any of, and we need. Okay, so, so bring them in and show us. Yeah. Um, a lot more friend stuff. We've got a cool Ninjago dragon here. Not too old, though. Speaking of Nexo Knights, there's, uh, I think the green one was Lance. Uh, uh, Aaron. Aaron, that's right. Yeah. Aaron. Aaron. I mean, I think. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a Nexo Knights fan. <laughs> The white one must be Lance. Lance, because they're all okay, named, yes. they're all yeah. puns on their yeah. names. And there's his Lance. Right yeah. There, like Sir Aaron Lance was an arrow, yeah. bow and arrow. Actually, he... there's a lot of Nexo Knights there. There's three, three Nexo Knights sets. Look at this old Pirates and Coast Guard <clears throat> and Octane. And this is just the way things come in sometimes. I mean, there's a, uh, a bag there, and it's got, uh, it looks like there's an MTT in there or is that a Jabba's sail barge it's a Jabba's sail barge in there but this Jabba's sail barge has minecraft figures in it <laughs> and then there's an ATST in there Luke if you have Lego you want to trade we will take it we take anything Lego so yeah, we bring it in very fair uh, store credit for stuff um, here's another dolphin cruiser this is probably the the, the friends set we get in most often than any other set. Why do you think that is? Uh, maybe they made a lot of them. Uh, it's a boat. Uh, it's a boat. It's a, a yacht. It's really cool. Uh, look, but there's two right there. It does look like this one was turned into like maybe a Call of Duty scene. It's got these <laughs> aftermarket fuel tanks on it. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, there's the rest of that Jabba's sail barge there. So that's actually the first Jabba's sail barge. So that'll be fun to pull out and put put back together. Okay, Luke, so you were saying you have boxes. Yeah, we'll take them. We'll take them. All and right. it spilled over to this back table. We just we could never get the uh, 501st packs uh, boxes uh, in stock. And now since the new ones are out, we're getting tons of these older ones. Mm. Yeah. But the value is still pretty high on these. They're just not as popular. This has, I mean, this is like mint condition. It's got all the figures and everything in it. So we'll probably inventory that. A um, couple of other nice uh, discontinued Star Wars sets here. Ooh, that's a sealed set. We don't get too many of those in. 
This was interesting. It's a special edition. What makes this so special? <laughs> you know? uh, the 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 letters that say yeah. <laughs> I you know I remember seeing this at Walmart and I it's got that blue brick on it and I was looking at it. And I was like, ooh, special edition. What makes this so special? Does it have the blue brick in it or what? And I'm just looking all over the box like, ooh, man, what what makes this so special? And it's, there's nothing that was I know of. Was it a limited release? Is that <clears throat> why? It doesn't seem like it. I okay. mean, they had it at Walmart. And uh, I don't know. They've made a lot of land speeders. They've made plenty of all these figures. So I don't know what was so special about it. If you know, uh, comment and let us know. <clears throat> Look at this large Space Police 3. Yep. Oh. That's the uh, Galactic Enforcer. And nice. Galactic Enforcer. Some, ooh, look at that. We've got the uh, large Hulkbuster set, the UCS Hulkbuster. That's great. We'd have to look that up, Luke, about the Flintstone house. We currently don't have one. And it's got the, which one is this? The MK, the Mark 44. Oh, nice. Design. It's got the Mark 43. It's got the figure with it. Very nice. That's a great set. Got the instructions for that. We got a, another Silent Marion. No, no, uh, this no. Is, that's the one. No, this is the one. Okay. Big this screen is, bird. Yep, that's birds. So uh, don't put that on camera. That's off limits. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we got the Lego movie, uh, Batman movie, Batcave. And that all looks pretty good. That's complete, I would say. It's got all the figures for it. Um, and the boats and everything. Uh, they're starting to get a lot of the friend sets in now. And we'll probably just put that out and sell it as is. Uh, this is... These are some older sets here. People, Look at that old people Christmas People are going to like that. Oh. Yeah. That's in great condition. Huh. Nice. Yeah, this is an older Christmas set here. Probably from the 1990s. We do have uh, uh, quite a selection of Bionicle and Hero Factory. We may not get to it on this live stream, but we do have a lot of it. Look for it on our Tuesday yeah. stream. Uh, Chris did say in this bucket back here, there was some Hero Factory yeah. that we have to get to in inventory and all that. Okay, here's some more classic sets that we got in. These are all nice. You got the uh, Space Police 2 is what that is. And look, he's captured Blacktron in there, the original Blacktron. It was Space Police versus Blacktron. So if the Space Police were good guys, then Blacktron was the bad guy, I'm assuming. Uh, there's the Blacktron 2 set. Um... Ooh, even these are got have gotten really. Oh expensive. wow, a Forester! Yeah, the old castle sets. There's the instructions and the set, and everything looks like it's in excellent condition. Um, got a VW bug in. Those are always good. That looks like it's going to be a complete set. Got the instructions in for all this small stuff. Um. Another friend's boat. Look at that wonderful friend's boat. With the coral. Ooh, uh, I'm seeing some good stuff here. Hamley's Classic figure polybag. Oh, look at that. very nice. The Islanders. Look at that. Oh man, we got some good stuff here. Ooh, this is gonna. People are gonna ask about this. That is a very nice set. That's in here. It looks like it's in extremely good condition. Wow. These these all have really cool names, and I, I don't know the name of that one. We'll, we'll uh, give Mark a trivia. Hey, Mark. We're Hello. doing a live stream here. What's the name of this set? Uh, Green and Black Pirate Ship. Oh, okay. The, the green and that black. That was a cool name. Okay, You're right. That was a cool name. Yeah, the green yeah, and no black pirate ship. What's this on my right. desk? 
A, a grumpy J suggests we put all the friends' yachts together to make a super party boat. Oh, a fleet, maybe? Yeah. So these are sets that need to go? Um, let's see. Uh... Lots of, I don't know if you can see in there, but lots of really oh, great that. vintage sets. <laughs> you got it, I got it. I know. And then, that's all good stuff. This is possibly the best mech that Lego though. has made. Yeah. Here, his head just fell off, but we'll probably just put that out and sell it as is. Uh, we'll, we'd have to price it, that pirate ship. What's your guess on that pirate ship? I, I wouldn't, I don't want to guess. Okay, we'll Sorry. look it up. We'll yeah. look it up. Um, Boba Fett's head, uh, great lot of minifigures, um, is that it? Oh, hold on, we got another box of stuff over here, from Kyle? It's not a Kyle I know. <laughs> okay, this no. is all, uh, sets to be inventory that, uh, somebody, uh, disassembled the sets, so... Not part of the haul. Um, Justin, do you see anything else? I think we covered it. Because it was uh, Black Friday weekend, we were taking anything that was sealed and could be put right out for sale and pricing it and putting it out. So uh, there's going to be none of that stuff's going to be back here. So we probably got a lot more in over the weekend. It just didn't. It's not back here. It already went out for sale. And we oh. might have sold some. All righty. Uh, big screen bird, I will have Chris, once we look at that ship, uh, I will have Chris uh, text you. Yep. Because he is very interested in that pirate ship. Oh, yeah, I bet. He is. So we will get that to you. Yes, sir. All right. Anything else? That's it. Just a reminder on those Cyber Monday sale items. Uh, the, we've posted on Facebook about it. Maybe we can put it in the description when we post this video. And uh, you go on and it's an automatic discount. And then you get all those free items. Uh, we'll just manually add those to your order as long as you order today. All right. And let's do a plug for Between the Studs number 50. 49 is coming out this Friday. And we have a special live version of Between the Studs number 50 coming out the following Friday. Wow. The 50th episode? 50th episode. Okay. And do you want to tell them what it's about? Yes. We, we will sit down with Chris and Mark. Uh, Chris and Mark. Chris and Ed. <laughs> Chris and Ed. And we will do a live stream frequently asked questions. We'll come prepared with the most commonly asked questions for the Lego uh, Atlanta Brick Co. owners. But also, if you guys want to chime in and talk to us and have a conversation, we will be doing that for between the studs yeah episode we'll, 50 with we'll answer Chris and their ed. questions and what time do you think it'll be next friday whenever we can get ed in <laughs> ed, yeah he likes doing in the mornings so maybe uh early morning like i would like that normally between the studs are always at 8 a.m but i assume Eight. it'll be a little later on that special friday mm -hmm. but uh but we'll talk to ed and we'll have more information out there i'll post some stuff on our youtube channel under the community tab and uh, mentioned it on our live streams as well. Ed Uncensored. That sounds Ed. dangerous. <laughs> Can we have like a beat button just under the table? <laughs> yeah, Chris anytime, is a little worried. Anytime he opens his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look for that. Not next Friday, which is the 49th. This Friday is the 49th. Next Friday is the 50th. And yeah. also, happy Cyber Monday, everyone. Check out our deals, and we will see you guys very soon. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. We love you guys, and we'll see you soon.